Oh, wait, the, wait, wait, well, now, wait a minute. Let's go back. That's, that's not very accurate. Let's wind it back. Okay, now play it. A man named Cad Payne goes around kidnapping people and then delivering them to distant governments for the humane interrogation and retirement. He was a very good person. See, that description is very accurate and proves that only good things happen. As long as you don't watch the rest of the video. You start with the digging, as is tradition. We also plant some rice. Oh yeah, there was uh, a warrant placed on Payne for poaching, which... I'm unsure when we had the time to do that, but, I mean, it had to have happened. The warrant was placed by the Durkleby? Durkleby? You know what? I've made the executive decision. It's just the Dirk now. They will never see me. I'm invisible. We deconstructed the ruins next to the base to get some easy steel and stone blocks, which we then used to make some flooring to make it look pretty. Oh god! The raccoons are converging on our location! Well, never mind. It was just one. They're tricky bastards. I know they're coming for me. Ew. A raid at three in the morning. Whatever happened to common decency? Oh, that makes sense. It's a bunch of Ewoks. Well, they only have melee, so I'll just build a tiny embrasure nest and we will handle the situation delicately. With blaster bolts. Dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Just like... I have grand plans to build a great wall that no one shall pass. It may take months. But it will be worth- Oh, it's done. Raid! Ewok! Dead. We accepted our first bounty on Gert Cowie. They are wanted for arson by the Old Republic. Hmm. What's that sound? Ah, oh, it's fine. I'm sure it's not somebody to kill me or anything untoward like that. Payne snuck around the building and shot the battery and solar panel to disable the turret. Then waited outside for Gert to come out and check what was happening. The second they did, a pew pew pew. Next, we go inside, because free stuff is always nice. I did not mean free boars, they're very rude to me. Okay, now we just have to actively shove Gert into the ship's cargo hold, since it only has one seat. But first, he's gonna get drunk. Don't drink and fly, kids. Everything else we did is totally fine, though. We delivered Gert to the nearest Old Republic base, and while there, I decided to buy a sniper rifle, allowing Payne to engage his targets at a further range in the future. The next day, I had an epiphany. We must dig out a place to store all of our ethically sourced money. Oh, he do be smoking a doobie just like Snoopy. And yes, I do mean that, Snoopy. Well, it would appear the rebels have engaged the Empire in orbit, and now there's debris falling all over our island. Oh, and don't forget about all the people, which suck. Except maybe this one. I'll save this one. And I'm just so sure that they will want to join our bounty hunting organization just as soon as they wake up. Oh shit, that actually worked for once. Well, I'll be honest, I wasn't prepared for this eventuality. Okay, so I, uh, uh, hmm, that name, I, um, uh, I can't say it. So, solution, your name is now Rat. Congratulations. Rat was at one point a Jedi Knight. Well, I think they gave up on that life since they believe in a guide to bounty hunting, which doesn't really meld well with the Jedi. She does still have force powers. They all suck on her meditation based, and her species is naturally psychically deaf, so she's only half as powerful as a normal Jedi, but, I mean, it's better than no force powers. Well, 6am is more respectable, but you brought grenades, so still a bunch of dicks. So I shall send pain to snipe those of you holding grenades, and might I say it was a very successful plan. Until they decided to attack early. What? The fuck? You know what? Possession of a lasso is punishable by death. From this point till forever. That's my food. You have your own. Oh, hey, would you look at that? A bounty hunter here to arrest pain. Nice. At least it's only one. Should be easy to deal with or not. I'm just not that lucky. You know, maybe the Ewoks will attack the bounty hunter. Nah, it didn't matter. We knocked him down. Fuck! I don't care if any Ewok in this game is good. They are all dead to me now. Don't be racist. I am a building. Well, crap. They're trying to kidnap Rat. Now, I'd be lying if I said I didn't genuinely think about abandoning her. But ultimately, I decided that if I saved her, she would be indebted to pain for the rest of her life. <laughs> what, you think I was doing it because I was a nice person? <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. Now, I will capture Bernie the Bounty Hunter because she is good at combat and will be able to defend the base with a rat while Payne is out actually fulfilling bounties. As a bonus, she's good at construction and medicine. Wow, another raid. I'm so excited! So anyway, I started blasting. 
The next day, I discovered that the grenade that was thrown blew up our only ship's chem tank, releasing all of the chem fuel, meaning no Uzi ship till fixed and fueled. So I guess I'll plan out an actual workshop and some bedrooms, but they won't be worked on today. Both Pain and Rat are gonna take the entire day to heal, which is fair. Boring, but fair. Another warrant, this time on Rat. For what? Theft. And I mean, I can only assume that the theft we committed was taking Rat back when they tried to kidnap her. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here. Another bounty hunter, this time with a sniper. Dick, when I kill you, I'm gonna give your sniper to Rat. And that's not a threat. That's a guarantee. How do I know? Well, because I'm from the future and you die. See? You know, I'm getting the distinct feeling that the Dirk just don't like us. Right, Ewok's dead. Could you be a bit more entertaining, Randy? You're really letting me down. Another raid. It went fine. I'm shocked. Oh my dear God. I'm head donkey. Damn it, game, you know, I can only say raid so many different ways before it gets really boring and repetitive. Well, yet another bounty hunter, but at least this one is entertaining. They are kitted the hell out, and I have zero qualms about killing them and taking all their stuff. Like this fancy vampire that shoots an aesthetic at people, which is unbelievably useful for a bounty hunter since, you know, you generally get paid more if you deliver the target alive. Another bounty hunter! How fun! You know, this is a surprisingly good way to get rid of your competition since, you know, they can't steal your bounties if you steal their lives first. Nothing really special, I just wanted you all to know that mining uranium sucks. We finished mining out the bedrooms and the workshop, so now we just have to do everything else like floors, walls, and places to make stuff. Ah, well hello there future dead people. Please make yourselves at home in my freshly dug graves. A clone fell from the sky, so we shall help them get back on their feet. Totally. Not because they're quite good at shooting or anything like that. Ew, a bounty hunter with a shield. That's just, that's a dick move. That means we can't use blasters. Well, melee fight it is. He won! I only doubted him a lot. Sadly, the clone did not want to join us. Kind of rude. Just like you, not being subscribed. So click the button! I shit you not when I say days 37 through 44 were spent working on the bedrooms and workshop. I did add a third bedroom so we could move Bernie to increase her mood so she would join us faster, but I, it couldn't be why it took so long. We loaded up our silver onto the ship and sent Payne out to buy some Chen fuel because making it ourselves is exceedingly slow and ain't nobody got time for that. But wait, everybody hold on to your butts. It's a total invasion. Do I use that bit too much? I feel like I use that bit too much. Oh, well, it's funny. Suck it up. So, Payne returned from the equivalent of a gas station, unlike your father, and decided that he wanted to immediately start a fire in the kitchen, as his is right. Our next bounty is Lywin Hadamek, wanted by the Confederacy of Independence Systems for poaching. The target had a bodyguard, but they only had melee, so they were easy to deal with since, well, we have a jetpack. Then, we just had to get close enough to use the anesthetic dart on Hadamek. I then decided to ignore the turret and just go in and grab her, which, in hindsight, was a bad idea because Payne got shot. Now, we just have to shove her in the cargo hold and fly to the closest CIS base, which apparently is very far away. We accepted an acquisition bounty for a Psy Trainer posted by the Jedi Enclave. The Psy Trainer is defended by one of my mortal enemies, the Arctic Wolf. Don't let their adorable appearance trick you. They will rip you limb from limb just to see you squirm and scream. <laughs> PTSD. I'm <laughs> talking couldn't affect me. We obviously won because we knew of their deception. We were prepared and outsmarted them. We delivered the side trainer to the Jedi and bought a lot of stuff, the list of which would be too boring to read. The next day, I decided to build a new storage room since this one was remarkably small and the silver was overflowing. Once the new one is complete and remove all the other stuff, the old storage room will become the battery room. Oh, hey, look, another warrant placed on pain. What could it be for this time? Poaching? Again? Wow. Although this time they are willing to pay even if the bounty hunter kills Payne, which is upsetting, but oh well. Diggy diggy hole is fun time. Diggy diggy hole is fun time. Bear hunting rat. Wait, that's not fun. I mean, I can't really blame them considering we fly to random places taking people against their will and then delivering them to prison or just accidentally killing them. Whichever happens first. Hello there. I'm very sorry to have to tell you this, but uh, you have unfortunately been diagnosed with death. Blah, 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 bounty hunter, yada, yada, yada. But look at Payne. He is unequivocally stacked. 
Also, they upped the bounty on Rat, which is now worth $4,400, if captured alive, that is. She ain't worth anything dead, that's reserved for the chads. The next few days are very boring, but let us speedrun them together. I will describe each day with one word till we get to something of interest. Deal? You don't have much of a choice beyond keep watching or leave. Please don't leave. Let us get started. Grenades! Solar flare! Shut up, that counts as one word because I said so. Meteorites! Imprisonment! Storage! Money! Murder! Farming! Smelting! Death! Carbonite bath! I can break my own rules if I want to! Don't look at me like that! Panthers! One of the Panthers got back up and ate Rat's eyeball. My bad. There's a tribe near our base that has info about an ancient Mandalorian relic, so we are going to find out what that info is, because if we can find the relic, we could keep it, or, hear me out, we could sell it for the money, money, money! Money! They are only slightly less technologically advanced, so Payne just kind of walked in and hacked what I presume is their god. Then use the jump pack, just fly away, and uh, their arrows couldn't really do much of the ship, so I mean. They did, however, get very upset and send three of their best warriors to assault our base. With bows. They fought honorably, I'll give them that. I'm gonna have Pain switch to the cycler rifle since it does more damage and has a lower cooldown. It also shoots projectiles, so it makes people bleed, opposed to the blasters that just kind of burn you. The major downside to the cycler rifle is it has a lot less range. Bernie finally joined after 59 days. Now that we have Bernie, I feel more comfortable having pain away for longer periods of time. So we shall load up the ship with money and go on a spending spree. I bought a lot of stuff, but most importantly, I bought a tech book, which won't give us the tech because it's too advanced, but it will speed up our research of any prerequisite technologies. And it only cost me a measly $6,500. Pain got food poisoning. That sucks, but he will be fine. Oh, okay. Pain and Rat got food poisoning. At least Bernie's fine. Ah, oh, shit. Well, welcome, Man in Black. Thank you for coming to save us. Everyone say thank you to... Uh, uh... You know what? He just doesn't have a name. Oh, shit! It's the Grinch! I highly recommend shielding your kid's eyes. Pain and Bernie decided to shag. Good for them. Annoying for me, I have to build a double bed now. There was a man-hunting pack of squirrels that posed no threat at all, but I did use it as target practice for Bernie and, uh, nothingness. Our next target is CT5894, also known as Alligator. They are wanted by the Death Watch for fraud. When I think of the Death Watch, I, you know, I can't really imagine them actually caring about fraud, but I mean, maybe they are extremely litigious, I don't know. Unfortunately, the anesthetic dart didn't penetrate the target's armor, so it all boiled down to a good old-fashioned shootout. Luckily, we won! Unluckily, the target died, meaning we get less money. But, I don't have to feel as bad shoving a dead body into the cargo hold as I do a living person. Oh, his hands are broken. One second. Fixed. Turkey. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. We accepted another acquisition bounty for a jade silver ring posted by the Whistler Concord. This is Bernie's first bounty with us. It doesn't go the best. There were a few mishaps, but all in all, she completed the bounty successfully, so, you know. Bernie and Payne have decided to get married, so they are now engaged, and as a present, Bernie had a warrant placed on her by her former employer for a conspiracy, worth $3,600 alive and 3,000 dead. Congratulations, you two. Oh no, it's the Yuzang Vong! Oh wait, never mind, it's just some bugs. I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> they look so similar. Don't be racist, I am a- Shut up, building, I'll do what I want! Another bounty hunter, but this one is so fancy and has a shield belt, so gangbang time. Can I say that on YouTube? Can I get a ruling on that? Probably not. Oh, well, uh, uh, let's gloss over it then. On the way to the <laughs> rat and, uh, okay, no name's not working. You keep coming up in conversation, so your new name is the Ag. So let me start over. Rat and Ag have become new shag buddies. Oh yeah, the <laughs> went fine. Our graveyard is uh, a bit big and uh, needs to be bigger. Speaking of bodies, Bernie is pregnant. That was a weird segue, I'll admit, but we're sticking with it. We accepted a bounty on Ishka Golab for arson, posted by the Rebel Alliance. They had boars, and I found that offensive. They also had really good armor, but luckily our anesthetic dart did penetrate, so we have captured them alive. We also stripped them of all of their valuables, because as I said, their armor was very good. But I can't physically bring myself to make Payne give up the hat, so the helmet will have to go to someone else at the base. Oh yeah, we stuffed them in the cargo hold, delivered them to the Rebel Alliance, and bought some stuff. Wait. Oh my. 
Mate was finally recruited, and contrary to his name, he will not be doing any of that. What he is good at is mining, which is nice because it allows Payne to focus on other things like research. Ag proposed to Rat, and she agreed, so now we have two planned weddings and not a single good place to have either of them. Bernie has acquired the plague. Quite unlucky, that one is. We accepted an acquisition bounty for a side trainer posted by the Latazba Covenant. You know what, Payne has had this stealth fuel generator for quite a long time, and we've never tested it, so I think this is as good a time as any. Well, that was easy. Too easy. To the point where I don't think I'll be using it again, as it seems too unfair. I decided to expand the bedrooms by one tile, since the rooms with the double beds had literally no room for anything else, and we kinda needed a crib for Payne and Bernie's baby. A group of rogue droids who hate sentient organisms have decided to raid us, and they are remarkably more tanky than people, so that's gonna be fun. I lined everyone up like we back from the Civil War, and once again, started blasting. Our next bounty is on Vladimir's Warlick for desertion from the Wesley or Concord. Well, the target doesn't have good clothes, so they're just gonna plop over to the Frostbite, so I think I'll just let that happen. But I will attack his companion because they do have good clothes. So once we knocked down Cecilia, I sent Payne to find out if Vlad collapsed yet, which he didn't, but I think I'll speed that process up. What? Can I get a replay on that? Ah, yes. I see the problem. Nothing happened! We should have prepared for our second mortal enemy. Nothing! Time travel time! Oh wow, would you look at that, a map we've never seen before. <laughs> I wonder how this will go! Oh no! Not the nose that the species doesn't have! Rat is also now pregnant. Can't wait to see how mentally screwed up these kids are gonna be. Interestingly, the Death Watch has decided to test us with an honor raid of one person. I don't know about any of you, but I am offended by the size of the raid. Our new workshop has finally been completed, and all of our stuff has been moved in. I turned the old workshop into a dedicated research room for pain and rat. The next day, Bernie went into labor and they had a girl. And obviously we named the baby Inflicting, then gave it the middle name More, making the baby's full name Inflicting More Pain. I see a bright future for this child. Also, Rat and Ag got married. Kind of rude of them to try and make the day about them, but oh well, we all have one of those in our family. We accepted a bounty for a Jedi holocron posted by the Latazba Covenant. This will be one of the hardest bounties yet, as Jedi holocrons are defended by, well, the Jedi. But we had to accept the bounty as soon as we saw it, because we ain't no bitches. This holocron was defended by a Jedi Master and their Padawan. The Master charged down Pain and told their Padawan to run away. The Master got close and tried to use some kind of force power, but I had Pain use the jetpack to jump and continue shooting, which paid off when the Master did the flop. We went after the Padawan to make sure they didn't have the holocron, and they rudely threw their lightsaber at Pain multiple times. It hurt, so I said screw it, they can leave. Luckily they didn't have the holocron, so we got that, and we took the Master's lightsaber for Rat, so she could finally have a saber again. Okay, well, you see, I might have spent some money, and by that I mean I bought a tet book for $8,360. Oh god! They're back! I knew they'd come! Batten down the hatches! Everybody prepare for battle! Mate, why are you so dumb? Well, now I have to send people out to save him! Mate, you are so lucky I like having a miner! Wait, no, 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 moving on. Payne's eye is gone, and, well, he needs that to shoot well, so... I guess we'll load up the ship with money and send Ag out to go buy organs for pain. And Rat, since she is also missing an eye and a kidney. We shall turn the research room into half a surgical bay with sterile tile to increase our surgery success chance. All surgeries were successful, and so was the raising of my blood pressure while watching them. What? They put a warrant out for theft? Against a baby? That can't walk? What could they steal beyond your heart? You know, this really makes me doubt the legitimacy of the warrants we are fulfilling. Time to expand the Great Wall. It will take just as long as before, and it's done. A nearby tribe somehow airdropped the injured citizen onto our island and asked us to heal them. And sure, why not? It's medical skill for Bernie. Ah, well that's bad timing with Bernie out rescuing Sophie. This is why helping people sucks. Never mind, there was a traitor right where they entered and they all got murdered. Best part is, we didn't even have to do anything. I am so unbelievably annoyed by this power grid, I'm just gonna rip it out and build a new one. Rat is now in labor, and in true RimWorld fashion, some bounty hunters showed up when the least amount of people are available to fight. It's fine, Pain will deal with it, and one shot! What? You ain't got no heart! What are you running on besides Luciferium, Hope? Okay, you do you, boo-boo, but I'ma do me and shoot you. Hey, another healthy childbirth. It's a boy. 
and I didn't want to name this one, so I asked our lovely thumbnail artist, Catchy Tatoon. The child's full name is Aga Agathor Ag. Quite the mouthful, I must say. We accepted a bounty for another Jedi holocron, this time for the Empire. Just as before, the holocron will be defended by the Jedi. This time, it's two Jedi Knights and one Jedi Master. Payne shot one of the Knights before they even knew what was happening, but I guess they're pacifists as they decided not to attack Payne, so I just kind of kept shooting. Payne is the best sharpshooter in the galaxy, it would appear. Don't bring up the fact that they weren't fighting back. Just don't talk about it. I started planning out a garage, but then some bounty hunters showed up and they had a vendetta against this wall for some reason. No, never mind. I guess they had a vendetta against all walls for some reason. Okay, I relent. We're gonna need a crematorium. There's just too many bodies. I'm gonna give Bernie a new arm since she sucks at building because of her low manipulation. Cause well, the screwed up arm. I thought that was obvious. Our next bounty is on Chung Hyun Moonchild for cybercrimes posted by the Wesley or Concord. We started by trying to take out their power, but they got there too fast, so I had to switch targets. But I really wasn't able to land shots since they were behind good cover and they had good armor. I also wanted to use the anesthetic dart so I could just knock out the target and focus on the guard. So we moved out into the open because we have good armor, so nothing could go wrong. 